I'm here with Paul Ansley, who is the lead developer at the SitePoint Group. Paul is going to introduce us to CoffeeScript. What exactly is CoffeeScript? So CoffeeScript is a programming language which compiles to JavaScript. Um, that means that you write your code in CoffeeScript, run it through the compiler, and the output is JavaScript that can be served up to your browser. If I'm a JavaScript programmer, why would I want to use CoffeeScript instead? So CoffeeScript uh, it lets you clearly express your program with a lot less code than JavaScript. Um, it's got a lot of sort of lightweight add-ons like Ruby style string interpolation and Python style list comprehension. Um, it makes a lot of common tasks much easier. Uh, JavaScript you pass around a lot of functions, so CoffeeScript provides a very brief way of expressing those. Uh, it also brings a full class-based object system. Uh, JavaScript is generally prototypical, which confuses the hell out of most people. So mm -hmm. uh, a sort of class system familiar to Ruby and Python and Java developers uh, makes things easier. Are there particular types of JavaScript development that would benefit from CoffeeScript? So personally, I use CoffeeScript for web development, uh, game development, and anything that I want to end up in JavaScript, regardless of what libraries or platforms you're building for. Um, the output of CoffeeScript is JavaScript, so there's nothing that it can't do. And are there downsides to using CoffeeScript? The JavaScript served up uh, to the browser is not the CoffeeScript that you wrote, so that can make runtime debugging more difficult. Um, personally, I haven't found that to be a problem. Um, the CoffeeScript compiler writes really clean, easy to read JavaScript, uh, so I haven't had a problem. There is an experimental technology called Source Maps, and that's set to make it even easier uh, to do that runtime debugging. And how do I get started with CoffeeScript then? Do I need to install anything to use it? If you are using Rails 3.1 or newer, uh, then CoffeeScript comes out of the box. So you just enable the asset pipeline, put .coffee on the end of your file names, and Rails does the rest. Uh, if you're using PHP or Django or any other system, web or node or otherwise, um, it's easy enough to get up and running on your development environment. So personally, I use Homebrew on my Mac to install Node.js and then use the Node Package Manager or NPM to install CoffeeScript. And that gives a command line tool which will turn your coffee files into JavaScript. 